Algebra 2. Um, well, today we talked about planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, we're talking about distance, distance being rate times time, rate times time. Or another week, thing we could say is D equals R times T. Okay, so we're talking about rate times time equals distance. So, I didn't say that we were going out of the book today in class, but I took the example straight from the book. So if you want to follow along with the word problems that are on page 62, that's what the first example is. So the first example says we have a train at a station. Let's call that train A. And we have a train at another station. Let's call that B. And they're going to run on parallel tracks. So they're going on parallel tracks. This one's coming, so they're going towards each other on parallel tracks, right? Well, it says that the stations are 332 miles apart. So this distance here is 332 miles apart, okay? Now, first it says that the first train is going at 48 miles per hour. And the other one is going at 56 miles per hour. Now the one going at 48 says it left an hour and a half before train B. So for these word problems, what you have to think about is who got the head start. The one that gets the head start, because they're both going to have T for time, but the one who had the head start gets the plus. So this one took off first, so it had an hour and a half, or 1.5, head start. So we put T plus 1.5. Again, took off first, the one who took off first, okay, or get, who had the head start, the one who took off first gets the plus. I, I can't spell, it's not even a letter. Um, gets the plus, okay. So, train A took off first by an hour and a half, so they get T plus 1.5. Now, we have to set up our equation here. If you think about it, we're talking about the total distance here is 332. So, logically, this distance plus this distance, if we're talking about where they're going to meet, should add up to equal our total, 332 miles. So, we're going to set it up that way. We have rate times time, so 48 times time, which is t plus 1.5. If I take that distance and I add it to this distance, which is 56t rate times time, that should equal 332. Okay? Now, all we have to do is some simple math to get t by itself. So we distribute. That gives us 48t plus 72 plus 56t equals 332. Now from there, we again get t by itself. So we're going to subtract the 72 since it doesn't have a t. We get that out of there. Now we have 48 plus 56 which gives me 104t equals 260. Lastly, we divide by 104. So t is equal to 2.5. So we found t, but you have to, on all these problems, figure out what is, it, what is it asking. So for this one it says, how long will it take the faster train to meet the slower? So since we're talking about how long, we just want to represent this in hours. So our final answer is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Now if you wanted to put 2 and a half hours, that's okay. Just don't leave it 2.5. Again, I want you to be able to think about in terms of hours, not just as a decimal, 2.5. So, two hours, 30 minutes, or two and a half hours would work. You never say 2.5 hours, okay? Anyways, so that's how we do this problem. Again, draw your diagram for all the ones on the homework. So we have arrow going this way. We have a distance going this way. Distance coming towards it. If we know the total distance in between, you're gonna set it up like this. Distance one plus distance two equals the total distance apart. So whenever it says the total distance apart on these problems, you're going to set it up just like this, all right? 
And don't forget, the one who took out first gets the plus. They get the plus to the time. Alright? So that's the first example that we did. Now the exact... Uh, I can't talk. Now the next example, it's kind of like it, but uh, now we're starting at the same spot. So the second example, you have a boat, okay, and it's going in this direction, okay? You have a boat leaving from a port. It's traveling at 30 kilometers per hour. 30 kilometers per hour, all right? It leaves at 7 a.m. Keep that in mind. It takes off at 7 a.m. Next it says at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. It says there's a helicopter that takes off from the same exact port. So I'm just going to line these up. Helicopter. Okay. Takes off from the same exact port. It says at what time, and it travels the same route. It says, at what time will the helicopter overtake the liner? So at what time will it be in the same exact spot? And it says the helicopter is traveling at 66 kilometers per hour. So in this case, again, we put T for boat. But who got the head start? The boat took off first. By how many hours? It had a three-hour head start. So since the boat took off first, we put T plus three. Now again, we're talking about when will it overtake the boat. Now, we're not going to add these distances because we don't know a total distance in between. So if you think about it, they're leaving from the same spot, ending up at the same spot. Because we're talking about when's the helicopter going to hover over the boat, you know, and then drop some lines and like board the ship and commandeer it. Anyways, so it's going to be at the same spot. So we can say that this distance is equal to this distance. So this 66t, rate times time, must equal the other distance, rate times time, t plus 3. Okay? Well, this equation is a lot easier. We just distribute. So we have 66t is equal to 30t plus 90, because we distribute the 30. We subtract that. Okay, so you have 36t is equal to 90, and lastly, you divide by 36, t is equal, again, this says 2.5. If you do the work, that's 2.5 as well. Well, notice how it questions it at the very end. Um, where is it? Yes. At what time? At what time do the helicopter, does the helicopter overtake the liner? So it's actually what time of the day does it do that? Well, if it's two and a half hours after the helicopter takes off, so you're going to add two and a half hours to 10, 10 a.m. So your final answer would actually be 12.30 p.m. Because again, at what time does it take off? All right? There you have it. All right, so the next problem, we only did three examples in class. Notice again, really quick for this one, distance is equal to this, to this distance as well. Taken off from the same spot, going to meet up at the same spot. Set them equal to each other. And don't forget to put this one in, whenever you have t plus 3 or t plus 1 or whatever t plus, don't forget to put that in parentheses because you can distribute. Okay? So, good luck with that. And the last one was somewhat similar to this one. Now, two people are in a race. Now, we used Tara and Sarah as examples. No, we didn't. We used Tara and Stephanie as examples in class, saying they were in a race. So, any normal race, like a 5K or something, you take off from the same spot at the same time. So, you have Stephanie taking off, and you have Tara. And they're both going to run, run along. And for our third example, it says Stephanie was running at 10 miles per hour, while Tara was running at 8 miles per hour. The thing is, they both took off, took off at the same time, so no one got a head start. When no one gets a head start, we just put a T right here. Because again, 
Nobody got a head start. They took off at the same time. So there is no plus here for the time. Now, they took off at 7.30, by the way, in the morning. Early morning jog. 7.30 a.m. They took off running. It says, if they began the race at 7.30, at what time were they 2.5 miles apart? Since they're going in the same direction, starting at the same spot, if Stephanie runs faster, she's going to go further. That makes sense. If I run faster than you and we take off at the same time, I'm going to get farther than you. Well, Stephanie's running faster than Tara. So eventually, this distance where they're neck and neck is actually going to get wider and wider. Stephanie's going to get further and further. The question is, when will they be 2.5 miles apart? So when will she be, this gap right here, be 2.5 miles? So, again, we're going to line up that dot. Whenever you see this dotted line going straight down, that means this will equal that. This up here will equal that. So how do we represent this? Again, distance. So this distance right here is 8t. Now we're going to go ahead and add this distance, which we said is 2.5. And we're going to set it equal to this distance down here, which is 10t. Again, so if it says when will they, if they're going in the same direction and one gets further, when will it be, they be 2.5? We're going to fill that gap in right here. So 8t plus 2.5 equals 10t. So now we subtract minus 8t. So that cancels out. So now we're left with 2.5 is equal to 2t divided by 2. You get t is equal to 1.25. Now again, you have to think hours and minutes. So we know this is 1 hour. 1 hour. It says 0.25 or a fourth. So a fourth of an hour, which is 60 minutes, a fourth of an hour would be 15 minutes. So t is equal to one hour and 15 minutes, but again, that's not what it, it doesn't say how long. It says, at what time will they be 2.5 miles apart? So we're going to add one hour and 15 minutes to our time up here. So they take off at 7.30. An hour and 15 minutes later, it's going to be 8.45 a.m. So again, be very careful with how they want your answer. Do they want it in terms of um, hours and minutes, or do they want an actual time? So think about that. And on, actually, on one or two of the problems, they ask you uh, rate. So instead of filling in time, we'll know the time. You just have to fill in the rate. Anyways, I'm sure you'll have questions on that later. Um, extra credit question. Extra credit question. Let's see. The first person to approach me tomorrow morning, which is August 31st, 2010, um, the first person who answers that will get to have extra credit points on their homework. And the question of the day, who was the National League MVP for Major League Baseball for the National League MVP, Major League Baseball, for the National League uh, in 1989, okay? 1989, National League MVP. Who was it? By the way, that happens to be my favorite baseball player of all time. So, uh, first person to let me know tomorrow morning. Don't text me. That doesn't count. So, and not tonight. That doesn't count either. So, anyways, good luck with this. Hopefully, this makes sense. And don't forget, for every problem on the homework, you have to draw a diagram. Those usually help a lot. So good luck with that, and I will see you tomorrow.